Thanks for watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have my friend Ray Yancey. Good to see you, Ray. Good to be here. Always dependable. You're a frequent flyer in Greater Brockton. Thanks yeah. for sharing all the good work that you folks do at Mass Hire and Youth Works and you know, all the, uh, whatever the name is these days. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. right. Greater Brockton mm -hmm. Workforce, Workforce Board. Board. Yep. I got it. That's okay, it. Good. Yeah. And you don't have the t-shirt on today because today was picture day. Yeah, right? today was picture day. Okay, so yeah, took headshots. You're always the man. You always look good. Right? <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, so we're talking, um, you know, more training opportunities. Yeah. Um, uh, this time we're going to go to South Shore Voc Tech in Hanover. Right. No, I'm not offended. Oh, okay. Because the vocational schools were all, we're all, together. all great. Yeah, right. They we're all great. All of them. Okay, and you have them. a big area. Yeah, right, right. So exactly. Greater Brockton area is a big area. Right. They're down in Hanover right yep. on 123. Yeah. Uh, too close to Gowles for my comfort. I <laughs> Gowles over there, but that's okay. Yeah. So we're talking welding, right? Yep, we're doing another welding program with them. And uh, like I said, it's going to start on May 13th. And it's going to go through June 25th for that program. And uh, we're looking for good things. This is obviously the first time we're doing it with South Shore Vocational. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to keep rolling with them as well. You know, another outlet for us That's to quite the do skill more training. Welding, welding, to be honest with you. I, it's getting I, there. I admire that. I, I look at, you know, they say that people that are in the trades, mm -hmm are not going to be hurting for money. No, definitely okay? not. Because uh, you need the electricians, you need the right. plumbers, you need the welders. Right. I got a front porch that's falling apart with yeah. bricks. You need yeah. the masons. You need okay? them. Right. Because uh, otherwise everything would yeah. kind of fall apart. And it kind of helps too with the uh, putting them in apprentice programs. Right. Uh, you know, as the, the word is now, I put you in an apprentice program, you get paid. Right. You go to college, you pay them. Exactly. So, and this is quick. May 13th yeah. to June 25th. Yeah, it's only, what are only, the hours that people uh, Three to seven. Three to seven. Yeah, okay. so it's, it's not bad hours. Monday through Thursday, four days a week. Mm -hmm. So they want to find more information. Where are yep. they going? They're going to your they're, website. They're going to go to me right? or they can call me. So tell us. Yeah, the number is 508-584-3234. Okay. Extension 15 puts you directly to me or you can just ask for me. Okay. And I give you as much information as you need. Okay, and uh, it's uh, obviously afterwards, we've been doing this with all our programs. We have what we call a speed networking event mm -hmm. where we bring in employers, hopefully employers that are hiring right. for the students, and it's only for the students. It's not open to the public. Okay, so what's the age? Uh, there is no age limit on this but whatsoever. Oh, oh you yeah. mean students as as, of, any, as, of, any of any age? Of any, yeah, okay, right. Gotcha. And uh, they come in and they have like a, a speed dating with each one of the employers. They get to spend five or six minutes, give them their resume, maybe set up an appointment for an actual interview, yeah. and they hopefully will get a job. Now, are you getting women welders at all? Uh, we have the other two programs. We had a woman in each, and I just signed up a woman yesterday Cause we for have, this program. We have a lot of students that were would be considered non-traditional yeah right um getting into the trades and, right you know i mean thorough same kind of training yeah. anything like that i think that's i think that's, that's great cool. well, and i'll tell you the first woman we had in the first training is now working with the iron workers in their apprentice program okay. at 30 bucks an hour right and she's going to finish after four years in the apprentice program making about 70 bucks an hour Good for her. Yeah. That's wonderful. So that's so thanks for very happy for her opportunity. Yep. So same date. Same May 13th, date. You're looking at certified nurse assistant CNA right. training. Right. Tell us about that. And that's going to be in Youth Works, uh, okay. age group, 18 to 21, out of school youth. Uh, they can go into this program right now. We have a couple of seats, only a couple of seats left. Okay. Uh, so we're still taking applications for that. Like we said, that'll start on the 13th. And that is also a four-day four day schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, what we're doing different, I'm sorry, it'll, it'll conclude on June 12th. Okay, yeah. Uh, but also, they're going to include work readiness training mm -hmm. with this. So every day, they're going to get about maybe a half an hour's worth of workplace okay. or work readiness training right. after they finish their classes so they'll be ready to hit the work world. I got to tell you, CNAs are like God's gift. Yeah, because, uh, yeah. When my dad was sick, right. 
We had a CNA in the house. Yeah. We kept her on when he was in assisted living. Yeah. And I don't know what I would have done. Well, not yeah. Because yeah. first of all, he wouldn't eat. Yeah, right. If, yeah. I couldn't go there three times a day. Yeah, right, Once right. a day. But those are angels. And yeah. People that have the temperament to do that because they have to oh, have yeah. compassion. They have to have empathy. Right. They, they, it, it's, it's not like you're stuck, you're stuck in cans at the supermarket. Yeah, right, exactly. You're dealing with human beings and human life. So exactly. There's a lot of skills that you have to have for that. And, yep. um, you know, with the community being as diverse as it is, it is too now, mm-hmm. you got to have other skills. Yeah, have exactly. Some language skills right, as exactly. Well to talk to the exactly. people. Exactly. Um, and, and then lastly, the the good old fashioned summer, summer jobs, jobs yep. applications are coming right up. they're coming up they're, they're actually they can start doing their applications now mm-hmm. for the summer jobs and that's uh, uh, it starts in June with uh, one month of training and then uh, they actually are ready to go to work by July fifth the day after Independence Day. And they'll work all the way through to the end of August. Mm-hmm. So it is basically 125 hours. Uh, most of the jobs are going to pay uh, 12 bucks an hour, mm-hmm. which is basically the minimum now. And uh, so that's what they'll make for the summer, you know. So uh, the people that are the employees, mm-hmm. does it go through the company or do the, the, the companies pay BayWeb or do the companies pay the employees it, directly? There's How a couple of work? different ways. There's different ways to yeah, do it. Yeah, the company can pay yeah. that you're working for. They can pay. Uh, or we'll pick up half of it, fifty percent. Yeah. 50%, yeah. Uh, or we'll pick up all of it. It depends on what kind of contract we put up with the company. Okay. And is know. that age limited? Is that uh, eighteen to twenty? Actually, sixteen to twenty-four right. is the age group for the summer jobs program. Okay. And summer jobs, you know, things aren't as easy to get jobs. No. Days. Right. You right. Get, a lot of automation going on. I yeah. refuse to use the touch screen at, at, at a fast food restaurant. Yeah, so right, I'm not right. To be going there anyway. Yeah. But I want to talk to a person. Yeah, I won't I don't use go it to either. Self checkout at the yeah. supermarket because I still think you need to have human beings. Got to have somebody there. Kids need to learn skills. Right, right. You know, um, that was one of my. I did grocery yeah. bagging back yeah. in the day. I actually liked it. Yeah. Got to talk to you people. You got to talk to people, it. exactly. So, um, website, we did the phone number before. Just yep. tell us your website. All right, the website is Mass Hire GW. I'm sorry, I always confuse that. Mass yep. Hire at GBWB.org. GBWB. Yeah, which is Greater Brockton, Brockton Workforce, Workforce Board. Board. Dot org. Yeah, you were so used to the... Uh, the, 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 the other one, BayWeb, yeah, that well, was Ray, easy. As usual, thank you. No so problem, thanks for having me. Yep. One of these days we're going to get down and, and see the people. We're, yeah, we're yeah. Do. So we're going to talk about doing anytime, that next time. Anytime, anytime. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.